pants? Yeah, Stephanie got them for me. Nice, cotton? Actually, I think it's more of a wool fire ant blend. So the girlfriend's buying clothes for you, huh? Sounds serious. Well, it is actually. In fact, I gave it a lot of thought and I decided it was time for us to live together. <laughs> Oh, Leonard, huge mistake. There's a whole buffet of women out there and you're just standing in the corner eating the same deviled egg over and over again. <laughs> See the blonde over there? I can hit on her and you can't. So go hit on her. <laughs> She's not my type. I don't care what you guys think. Stephanie and I are very happy living together. I will give either of you $20 right now to trade pants with me. Oh, hey. Oh, good. Do you have any fabric softener? Yeah, sure. What are you washing, a crocodile? No, the pants that Stephanie got me. Oh, sweetie, you can't machine wash these. They'll be ruined. You sure? Absolutely. Oh, no, I wish you'd told me that sooner. <laughs> oh, no. What? You were right. Your larynx is terribly inflamed. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I knew it. <laughs> What do I do? You're gonna need to stop talking immediately. For how long should... should... Immediately. Hey. Oh, hi, honey. Sheldon? <laughs> What's going on? I just performed a Sheldonectomy. Hi, dear friends, welcome back to English Fluency Mission. I am Steve, your English Fluency Coach. Today's video is the English Vocab and Idiom Lesson 5th of the Big Bang Theory, a funny American TV show. We keep posting new video lessons every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you are new here and have not subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell, so you may learn new vocabulary and important structures with fun. So without further ado, let's jump into the topic. New pants? Yeah, Stephanie got them for me. Nice, cotton? Actually, I think it's more of a wool fire ant blend. <laughs> blend as a noun means a mixture of different things or styles. It is also used for a word formed by combining two other words. For example, their music is a blend of jazz and African rhythms. Means, their music is a mixture of jazz and African rhythms. Next, Meritage is a blend that combines merit and heritage. Last, his books are a blend of journalism and history. This means, his books are a mixture of journalism and history. Fire ant as a noun means, a tropical American ant, that has a painful and sometimes dangerous sting. Wool as a noun means, thick thread or material, that is made from the soft thick hair that grows on the bodies of sheep and some other animals. <laughs> 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 
Leonard is describing the pant as a mixture of woolen and fire ant that is giving him a lot of itching. The girlfriend's buying clothes for you, huh? Sounds serious. Well, it is actually. In fact, I gave it a lot of thought and I decided it was time for us to live together. <laughs> Oh, Leonard, huge mistake. There's a whole buffet of women out there and you're just standing in the corner eating the same deviled egg over and over again. <laughs> deviled as an adjective means something cooked and cut into small pieces and mixed with a sauce that has a strong flavor. For example, an egg is deviled when it is cooked and cut into small pieces with a strong flavor. He has used the deviled egg as a figurative meaning pointing towards women. He is telling Leonard that there are a lot of women with whom you can have an open relationship if you are sticking with one woman over and over again. See the blonde over there? I can hit on her and you can't. So go hit on her. <laughs> She's not my type. To hit on someone is an idiom that typically means that you are flirting with someone with the intent to enter into a romantic relationship with them. This can be applied to both short and long-term relationships. For example, are you hitting on me? You're a married man. Means, are you flirting with me? You are a married man. Next, I can hit on her but you can. This means, I can flirt with her. I don't care what you guys think. Stephanie and I are very happy living together. I will give either of you $20 right now to trade pants with me. <laughs> trade as a verb means buy and sell goods and services. It also means to exchange something for something else, typically as a commercial transaction. For example, the country's trade in manufactured goods has expanded in the last 10 years. Next. 70% of the country's trade is with Europe. Last. In the clip, Leonard says, I will give either of you $20 right now to trade pants with me. This means, I will give either of you $20 to exchange pants with me. Either of you, is a way of saying, that one is welcome, but not two, and by using this, Leonard isn't stating a preference between his two friends. It can also be spoken as any one of you. Good. Do you have any fabric softener? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what are you washing? A crocodile? No, the pants that Stephanie got me. Oh, sweetie, you can't machine wash these. They'll be ruined. You sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Oh no, I wish you'd told me that sooner. <laughs> Ruin as a verb means to spoil or destroy something completely. Or to cause a person or company to lose all their money or their good reputation. For example, her injury ruined her chances of winning the race. Means, her injury spoiled her chances of winning the race. Next, cheap imported goods are ruining many businesses. Means, Cheap imported goods are spoiling the nation's domestic businesses because they look similar and come at cheap prices. Last. The poor sound quality ruined a splendid film. Oh no. What? You were right. Your larynx is terribly inflamed. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I knew it. Larynx as a noun means an organ in the throat that contains the vocal cords, or a tissue that moves to produce the voice. The synonym of the larynx is the voice box. For example, changes in a teen's body, cause the larynx to grow larger. Inflamed is an adjective. When a part of the body becomes red, painful, and swollen, especially because of infection, then it is called inflamed. For example, you should call the doctor, if the area around the wound becomes inflamed. Next, her eyes were inflamed. Last, your larynx is terribly inflamed. Means, your voice box into the throat is terribly red because of infection. Oh no. What? You were 
right. Your larynx is terribly inflamed. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I knew it. <laughs> what do I do? You're gonna need to stop talking immediately. For how do, long do, do, do. Immediately. Hey. Oh, hi, honey. Sheldon. <laughs> What's going on? I just performed a Sheldonectomy. <laughs> Ectomy is a suffix. It is used to form nouns, referring to an operation, to remove a particular body part, or type of tissue from the body. Sheldon is a noun and it is used as Sheldonectomy. For example, she found a lump in her breast and underwent a lumpectomy. Means, she had to get operated on and removed a lump in her breast. Next. The drug is not recommended for postoperative pain in children after tonsillectomy. Tonsillectomy means, when tonsils are increased then doctors perform surgery and remove the tonsil to avoid unnecessary pain. And the drug is not recommended for postoperative pain in children. Postoperative pain means, pain that is felt after surgery. Last. In the clip, doctor says, I just performed a Sheldonectomy. In reality, she did not perform any surgery on Sheldon, but she made him not speak. So he stopped talking, because of her action. And to this action, she is calling a Sheldonectomy. Penny. 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 Sheldon? I have an inflamed larynx. <laughs> okay. We are out of verbal key. Do you have any? <laughs> okay, let me check. If you are out of something, you no longer have any of it. For example, I can't find the sugar. I think we're out of sugar means we don't have sugar next the lift is out of order out of order means not working 